My uncle is a real thug. Certified. Put a stamp on him. Locked up 15 years. Got out of jail. Ain't nothing changed. Very serious. Like, listen, when my uncle talk, this is how he look. I don't care what he talking about. This is how he look. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what he's saying. Put the goddamn jelly on the motherfucking sandwich. Do it. Spread it. <laughs> he's crazy. He's crazy. He's institutionalized, man. You got to understand, when you've been in jail for 15 years, all you know is jail. Your mannerisms, your language, you eat, sleep, and think jail, okay? Your threats aren't even the same. Like, whenever you threaten somebody, they should know what's about to happen. It's a transition into a fight. I'm sick of your ass. Get up. When they get up, they know it's gonna be a fight. Stuff my uncle says leaves you in suspense. <laughs> They're like the worst jail metaphors I've ever heard in my life. I, I don't even know how to explain them, okay? He gets out of jail, my brother called me. He said, Kev, Uncle Richard Jr. just got home. I said, what? I'm on the first flight. I'll be there in the morning. I ain't seen him in 15 years. I gotta see him. I get there, my uncle in the middle of the living room floor. I'm hyped to see him. I'm like, Uncle Richard Jr., what up, baby? 15 years? That's a long time, man. How you been? I swear to God, that's what he said to me. Say it with your chest, little ass nigga. I didn't know what to say. My brother came out of nowhere and grabbed me. He was like, chill, he been saying this all day. We don't know what it means. Just wait a minute till we figure it out. <laughs> now here's, here's the thing, right? I said, no, I'm not gonna chill. I'm gonna talk to him. Y'all not talking to him. I pulled him to the side and said, look, um, a lot of stuff has changed since you've been going, man. I'm doing well. I'm making good money now. Let me take you out, put you around some women, get some drinks, we'll have a good time. He said, all right, cool. I take him to a lounge, right? I'm at the bar, I'm drinking. There's women around me, I'm having a good time. I can't see him, but I can hear him. I can't see him, but I can hear him. Out of nowhere, all I hear is, I'm sick of this motherfucker, man. Kev, pin the tail on his ass. Is it his birthday? Why, why would I do that? Why, why would I do that? What do you mean? Peel this motherfucker's muffin cap back blue. Is that a drink? That's probably a drink. Can I, can I get a peel his muffin cap back blue? Say it with your chest. Can I get a peel his muffin cap? I didn't know what to do. I was confused. My family threw him on me, man. They threw him on me. I said, Kev, look, you making money? Give him a job. Give him a second chance in life. I said, fine, you know what? I'm gonna let him train me, okay? I was about to go to Australia. I was gonna film a movie. I wanted to get a little bigger. So I said, I'm letting him train me. Now, reason why, my uncle had that jail body. Up top, solid. Not a game. Rock hard. Didn't work on his legs that much. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes you can see him struggling to keep the top half up, just like legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look like this nigga was tip drilling all the time. <laughs> nigga, what are you doing, huh? Why you keep shaking your ass? What are you doing? Relax your ass, man. I ain't shaking it. It's my legs. Now, for those people who do not understand the job of a personal trainer, I explain it to you. A personal trainer's job is to do what? Motivate you people, make you feel like you can do things you never thought you could do. Here's an example of a personal trainer's conversation. Come on, man, you can do it. Push it. You got it. Breathe. Three more. Last two. Get it up. Last one. Good set, go wipe off. That's a trainer conversation. Once again, I didn't like the way that he talked to me, okay? <laughs> We're at the gym, I'm on a weight bench. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling, I couldn't get it. Ah, mm. ah. I couldn't get it. Out of nowhere, he came up behind me. He was like, close your mouth for somebody to come up, put their dick in it on the yard. <laughs> What'd he say? What'd he just say? So, somebody get the weights. I just want to ask him something. Some, somebody get the weights. Let me ask him something. Uh, is it a dick out behind me for real? Or is he just joking? <laughs> no, if it is, that's got to change. Somebody's got to put that up because I'm not going to work out if that's going to stay out. I pay my membership just like everybody else and I don't need to see that while I'm here. Fix it. <laughs>